from cheaper electricity charges, the government, led by the Department of Energy, or DOE, is looking for alternative power sources to help Filipinos with their energy needs, like the establishment of a renewable power plant in Albay. Noel Talakay will give us the details to this game-changing development live. Good evening, Noel. Good evening, Monique. Um, 100% clean, renewable, and reliable source of energy. That is the main goal of the Energy Development Corporation. That's why this company pushes to establish a geothermal power plant in Manito, Albay. The Department of Energy is targeting 30% or 54,000 megawatts for renewable energy by 2030 under its project, the National Renewable Energy Program or NREP, which by 2040, it is hoped or expected to reach 50%. Today, the Energy Development Corporation inaugurated the Palawan Binary Geothermal Power Plant in the province of Albay. It will provide 28.9 megawatts of renewable energy to the country. It is an expansion of the current 140 megawatts at the Bacon Matino facility. Hindi po bago ang binary technology. Uh, in fact, uh, ginamit na po natin yun sa late plant ko namin sa upper Mahiyaw. Uh, and uh, just uh, before itong palain ba binary, hindi po namin nababanggit. Pero meron kami 3.6 megawatts sa Mount Apo na nagawa na two years ago. The 7 billion worth project is one of the four binary geothermal power plant of Energy Development Corporation or EDC. According to the EDC, it employs a zero discharge system that ensures brine and other fluids are efficiently reinjected. That's why this will also address climate change because it will not contribute the carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide emission produced by burning coal, oil, gas, which is present in our current and most commonly used power supply. Yung, um, uh, in terms of avoidance, ito kasi 29 megawatts na pala yung binance, nasa 72,200 72, tons. Uh, so, so, roughly times three, yung, yung 83, well, two and a half no, per year ang ma-avoid, no, 83 megawatts. So, if we're able to develop yung 300 megawatts, then... 72,200 should be times 10, hopefully 722,200 um, carbons uh, avoided. When it comes to electricity price impact to the consumer, Ka Inglit clarifies that they are generated company, not an energy distributor. The electricity bill of the consumer still varies on the power distributors like Muralco. Amadalas yan, pinapabid yan eh. So if we don't win, no, then we're not able to supply our electricity. 